Women of Reddit, what's the biggest manchild red flag? They'll always find some way to push the blame onto others. It's never their fault. Incredibly irresponsible, puts off things indefinitely until someone else does it for them. Probably the type to complain their mother girlfriend wife is a nag, because they have to resort to that to get him to do crap. This comment was a huge realization for me. No wonder I haven't found an acceptable way to ask him to do anything. There is no acceptable way. After reading through this it feels good that none of it describes me, although I still feel like a teenager who just wants to play video games and eat junk food. The key is that even though we want to go play video games we sweep the floors, do the dishes, walk the dogs, then play video games. Throws a tantrum when they don't get their way, like a child screaming in a store because their mum wouldn't buy them a toy. So they never grew out of that, only acts nice because they want something in return. Everything has strings and a underwritten contract, known and read of a few breakups that happened because turns out after they moved out of their parents place they treated their partner like they were their new mother father. Only acts nice because they want something in return. Everything has strings and a underwritten contract, aka the entire foundation of the nice guy. The guys who not only can't cook clean do basic adult domestic tasks, but they're weirdly proud of that fact to the point of bragging about it. I'm not impressed that you're an adult and can't manage to take care of yourself, bruh, get your crap together. Filthy apartment, floors never swept or washed, toilet smells like hex urinal, piles of dirty laundry, few or no kitchen utensils, garbage hasn't been taken out in who knows how long, Kitchen littered with Gatorade bottles and fast food frozen meal containers, nasty sheets, and posters of scantily clad models and or Scarface movie posters as the only decorations. My roommates dragged me down to that level over time. Putting up with other people's addictions and misuse of time is tiring. When my now fiancé moved out for the first time and he expected me to come over to cook and clean for him, he learned pretty quick and is now a better cook than me. Go figure. Hey, at least he grew out of that phase. Lots of guys don't. I have a few friends that I'm waiting for them to grow out of it. Still holding on to a lie even though he has been caught. I'm holding the truth to his face but he still denies it. Dang he could have become a politician. Seriously, I caught my ex red handed. Multiple times, stealing my pain meds and he would still try to lie his way out of things can't keep a relationship going because they are more in love with a fantasy version of the girl they were with so whenever a problem actually comes along, instead of working through it, they get upset and bail because she wasn't who he thought she was and he doesn't want to actually put work into anything. Oh, yeah, my last breakup was like this, left me without a second thought because I wanted to address a concern. A couple of texts accusing me of being crazy in two weeks of radio silence later, and he wanted to know if we were still cool. I, just... Oh here we go, I had a roommate named Fergus or something like that. He moved in with me and one other girl in August. About November we noticed that Fergus, while using every dish in the house, had never actually washed anything. The other girl and I had been taking turns but not talking about it since our schedules were so opposite, so we never realized Fergus was such a pose. But then she went out of state for a couple months, and I quickly told Fergus playtime was over. It was his turn to do the dishes. He had a good grace to apologize for not getting around to it and mentioned that if he'd ever seen the sink really full, he'd of course have done some dishes, but we just washed his stuff before he had a chance to. Okay, whatever. I did the dishes from a small Thanksgiving dinner and then I left the kitchen to Fergus. I used paper plates and cups and plastic silverware for the next month. I didn't really cook, just microwaved it was finals anyways. And Fergus proceeded to use dishes without washing them until every cupboard was empty, and every glass, plate, bowl, cup, fork, etc. was crusted and filthy in a pile. He clearly expected me to cave if he made a big enough mess. The other girl would have within a week. I am made of sterner stuff. I fully intended to wait however long it took. Christmas Eve morning, after 30 plus days of this bulls, I awake to the astonishing sound of the kitchen being cleaned. There's water running, plates clinking, dishwashing going I walk out in amazement and find a complete stranger cleaning my kitchen. 
She looks up at me in a somewhat unfriendly manner, and Fergus pipes up from the living room, where he is sitting motionless on his phone. Hey this is my mom. She came to pick me up for Christmas. I laughed. Obnoxiously. I laughed at the man-child who got his mommy to drive 4 hours to do his dishes and drive him home when he was 25 years old. She defended him. Nothing's that funny. Oh. This is. I said. And went back into my room. She mopped the floor and then they left. After that. I basically told him that he was going to pay a service or pay me to clean the kitchen once a week. Because he obviously couldn't be trusted with the level of responsibility you'd give a 13 year old. His mom sent him an extra $75 a month for the rest of the lease. I had an ex in his mid 20s who had his mom cut his toenails for him. Cut. His. Toenails. I nope the frick out. But I'm ashamed at how long it took. Tantrums. My ex broke up with me over the phone at 1.30am a few days before Christmas because I told him I was just going to hang out at my place that day and have a bath. Do my nails face mask. Girly crap like that. Apparently that's rude because our want for chill days away from each other should align. He was also scandalized when I said lol okay and refused to take him back. No thanks crazy but, I'm good. Holy crap. My girl is like that. I picked up an extra shift today, 4 hours, and then I have class after. All night she was bitching and moaning, going on about how I don't care, and I need to put the relationship first. Sorry toots, but someone has got to pay for your $175 on demand bill. Living like a sea kid, eating like a 12 year old, doesn't read, doesn't progress. Complains endlessly, never assumes responsibility but would say things like I'm such a jerk, I'm so stupid, I'm a mess, like yeah okay, and what will you do about it now Michael? This is a red banner wrapped around a life, not just a flag. Somebody that absolutely won't prioritize and budget their money wisely. My ex roommate was quick to spend his money on gambling, beer and cigarettes but always cried poor when it came time to pay rent, along with his share of the household bills, and bugged his mom like crazy to give him money every single time. His mom was well off. We'll only clean what mess he makes. Oh you made dinner. Clean the dishes you used. I'll wash my drinking glass since I filled it. Or he can't be wrong misunderstand, misspeak or not hear something correctly, I never said that, that's not something I say, not seeing something from a different perspective, like picking your battles, a miracle race is not worth throwing and destroying a controller, no money bet on game just felt cheated, we can't play certain games because he gets aggressive when he loses or others are in the lead and complains all up until he wins at the end does crap to other people in game that if done to him he would throw a tantrum. Thinking of capricious reasons to cheat on their significant other because they don't have the balls to go through a breakup. You can't really justify cheating at all. But I've heard some really dumb freaking excuses over the years. The dishwasher made me do it. Instead of a repair man, they sent a repair woman and she is really good with her hands. He whines always. Known him from age 37 to 60 and oh my. Still whines. He looks like the perfect catch on paper but his emotional neediness and whining are a major turn off. Tried the relationship now trying friendship but I just can't. This worries me. My so tends to whine a lot. As you said, she is an absolute catch on paper. But she always wants me to give her attention. If I ask for an hour alone to work on something or even just to play a game. She acts like I have personally offended her. For me. It would be a man who makes no effort to keep his home clean, who can't cook even the most rudimentary of meals, and who sees absolutely no problem with this. It shows a pretty marked immaturity that I don't have time to deal with. Not to mention that he'd better not even think that I would automatically be glad to do all this for him just because I'm a woman. And I'm not talking Martha Stewart level of cooking and cleaning, either. My place isn't spotless and I'm no gourmet chef, but I expect to see just enough to keep the health department away, and maybe eat a home cooked meal once or twice a week. I know a guy who constantly be about being single, he's 33, he'll crush on one girl for like 6 months without showing her any sign of interest, finally work up the nerve to ask her out, get rejected, and pine after her for another year or so, hoping she'll change her mind. Despite being objectively very unattractive, 
Not having a career, relying on friends to rent him space well below market value. He only ever aims for girls at an 8 or higher. He has ridiculous criteria too. Refuses to date anyone taller. And he's like 5 feet 7. Or older than him. Wants to marry into money. Expects his future wife to be a homemaker raising their 5 to 8 children. Thinks any sex other than missionary position with the lights off is gross. He's had girls interested in him before. Girls who were out of his league. And never pursued anything because they were a couple years older or a couple inches taller than him. Yeah, he is a complete man-child and I'm positive he'll die alone. This would be downright sad if it wasn't self-inflicted. When the guy is in denial about calling anything you do together a date. But when you ask if what you're doing is a date or bring up the notion that it could be something other than a casual hookup. You are suddenly a psychotic stage 5 clinger who wants to get married and have a million babies on a strict timeline. Jeez, dude. I just asked if we were on a date because it wasn't clear. I wasn't asking you to freaking marry me. Oh boy do I have a list for you from my first serious boyfriend. His mom made his lunch for work every day. PB and J. Peanut butter cups. And little Debbie cakes. Just sugar basically. I wanted to go out to breakfast every Sunday but wouldn't get out of bed until I showed up at his house to wake him. It flipped out if I didn't text him every morning before I went to class. And called him every night before I went to bed. No. He couldn't be the one to call text me. That was my job. Punched inanimate objects when he was mad. Complained that I leaked bodily fluids on his sheets because he didn't want mommy to see them when she did his laundry. And this last one is really bizarre. He thought throwing soap at the wall when he stayed in a hotel was really fun and entertaining. Soap. Like in a hotel that had a TV that he was staying in for one night. Not a windowless prison where he was forced to use his meager supply of toiletries to amuse himself. They are always telling you to let go the inconsiderate things they do instead of owning up to them. Like it's not their fault they are being a dong to you. You just need to not get so angry about it. Nothing is every the man child's fault. Especially since he has his whole life ahead of him to grow and learn from all the faults he refuses to admit he has. The man child has no need for future plans. He goes with the flow. And any attempt at suggestion that maybe a 30 year old adult should at least have a vague idea of what they want to do with the next at least year or so of their lives is swiftly met with accusations of being controlling or pushy or uptight. When confronted with a fault that is undeniable he lashes out at you for something you did years ago. Or perhaps he just makes up something on the spot. Or simply uses something positive as a negative. For instance you just made breakfast but because he is mad at you for pointing out something he didn't feel like acknowledging he claims that you never make breakfast and the fact that you did doesn't count because you never do. In fact, accusations involving definitives such as never are constant. You never do anything. You never clean anything. You never do what I tell you to, etc. You are always never doing something and on the off chance that you do, it doesn't count because you never do it. Won't put up with some unpleasant shopping trips. I know a guy that throws the biggest fit if his wife goes off their shopping list or wants to make a stop somewhere else. She will go with him to Best Buy while he looks at video games but when she wants to stop at Bath and Body Works right next door he freaks out and complains the second the walk in the door about how bored he is and pouts through the whole trip. After my ex I realized this was a good indicator if someone is a good partner or not. I had to go to every dang comic book video game anime store that we ever passed by waiting patiently and acting interested, or he would pout, but he would blow a gasket if I ever wanted to go into Sephora or Victoria's Secret. Is 25, still lives with parents and doesn't pay rent, doesn't do his own laundry and doesn't cook for himself, doesn't take out the trash and hardly ever cleans his room. Spends all day on reddit and only works part time. Oh wait, that's me. I'm working on it. They try something once and when it doesn't immediately work for them. They wallow in self pity rather than try again. I can't ask out a girl. I got rejected once and it hurts too bad. I can't exercise. I ran a mile once and it didn't do anything. I tried to learn a foreign language once. But it took too long. All actual quotes from the man children in my life. How involved his mommy is in his life. Good relationship with mom. Keeps in touch. 
family holidays, healthy boundaries, maybe calls for advice on when cooking something complicated or WTF to do with silk, good, mum stops by the house all the time, stocks his fridge, brings him meals, does his laundry, buys his clothes, cleans his house, and has him over for dinner 3 nights a week, bad, mommy is telling him who he should and shouldn't date, what jobs he should have, what he should be doing with his money, or is still holding the apron strings after say, 21, worst, other red flags, refusal to learn basic adult concepts like how to cook, clean, launder, or maintain things and claiming it's someone else's job, constantly shifting blame, living in a house that looks like it was decorated by a 15 year old, inability to hold a conversation about anything more serious than TV, video games, or movies. Something I haven't seen mentioned yet is finances. Man children typically either don't work or else they work part time at a minimum wage job. They'll call in on weekends because they want a party, and they are just too lazy to actually put in effort to work more. Unless they're rich and are used to daddy buying everything for them, they never have much money. They are always broke when it comes time to pay rent or the electric bill, but they mysteriously always have money to buy video games or weed. Hello my ex. Unemployed for a year and a half while we were together. His dull money was always short for various unexplained reasons which meant we couldn't go out and do anything, even though I'd offer to pay, and yet never once was he without weed. Dated a guy once who said that his sisters and his mother had to approve of anyone he wanted to marry, I realized that the optimal situation is that all like each other, but the fact that he gave them veto power caused me to end the relationship. I'll play devil's advocate here for the guys out there. If your mother sisters don't like your girlfriend, you might want to listen to them when they say why. On the other hand, if your family is crazy, don't listen to them. Flipping out over menstrual cycle. Once knew a guy who would act so disgusted whenever any female in the vicinity mentioned periods, could be a girl asking another girl to check her pants for blood spurs or a girl complaining about cramps. He couldn't stand to hear anything about them. When I would be moody on my period he would say things like that time of the month again and I would say yes he would start talking about how he didn't want to hear that and it was disgusting. Like dude you brought it up. This was also a guy who loved talking about how blackout drink he got, and how he would throw up everywhere, and once shat his pants at a party and thought it was awesome. This was a man who was at least 21. I'm okay with guys being uncomfortable around periods, since it's a pretty foreign concept to them, but this guy liked complaining about how gross periods were more than I liked complaining about how painful my periods were. Which is saying something been on birth control 3 years and I no longer feel like somebody is stabbing me in the uterus every second of my period. One that I haven't seen mentioned yet is pickup artistry. Covers all manner of insecurity immaturity lack of personal growth by doubling down on the objectifying of women. See? Not so bad to get rejected by a girl if she's just one of 20 meat socks you're pursuing at a time. Tantrums over silly trivial things equals the biggest red flag. Close second would be the inability to just make a decision. About anything. I think the worst one I've read on here this far is the not taking blame that takes the top. Seriously. Just admit it. It was your fault. No harm done. Move on like a freaking adult. I'm surprised I haven't seen this one yet. Goes out to eat for every meal. My fiance did this while we were dating. I thought he was just showing me a good time. Turns out, he can't cook even boxed mac and cheese. To his credit, he knows he's a man child and it's endearing but also very taxing. So he's working on it. When he discusses me moving in, we can move into the attic above my parents house that way we save money and it will feel homely. Me, wouldn't it be better if we moved in with my parents since they have a whole empty apartment upstairs as we were doing that? Or we could buy a cheaper flat and that will be more private. Um, I don't I like you or your mom's foreign cooking. Nope 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 I'm sorry but I'm not gonna mummy you and neither is my mother. Entitlement. He's entitled to a woman's time. Hugs. Devotion. Whatever he wants simply because he thinks he's been nice to her. No one owes you crap. Boy. Figure that out. Grow up. And start treating people as equals and maybe people will actually legitimately enjoy your company. The last dude I was seeing legit said that his ex broke up with him because he was too nice. 
Any emphasis on how nice they are. Sets off flags for me. Actual nice guys don't brag about how great they are. Obviously trying to manipulate your feelings by making you feel bad about something. Little passive aggressive guilt trips drive me insane. If you want something, ask, communicate your feelings like a big boy. Can't do anything past surface cleaning. Everyone has to do dishes or take out the trash at some point, but I'm talking about vacuuming, mopping, dusting, windows, clean surfaces, etc. Cleaning your place is one of those things you don't have to do. Whether or not he does it shows how much responsibility he's willing to take on himself. It's a big indicator of being able to sacrifice momentary pleasure and fulfill obligations, which is a necessity for a well-functioning adult. When the entirety of his personality, identity and motivations are tied up in video games. Games are nice but there has to be some other facets to your life. Sees nothing wrong with living with his parents after 30. No motivation beyond immediate wants. No long term plans for finances or career. Video game addiction. I.e. prioritizing time money on gaming over real life interactions and obligations. Nothing wrong with video games. I enjoy them too. But all things in moderation. Sadly these are all describing the same friend. I've known him since HS and he hasn't really matured in that time. He didn't have a bank account. His wages went into his mum's account and she would give him his wages after she took rent and then some. He had no clue how to manage money. He was in his 20s and just couldn't be asked to sort it out. Constantly calling and texting his mom especially while out on a date. We dated for a while and one date he was texting non-stop with his mom and I asked if there was a family issue and he said no but if I don't respond she will call and bug me until I do. This went on for months and it was annoying. All day and night. That's a deal breaker. I am extremely close with my mom but that is way too codependent for me. She will text this guy all night on his honeymoon. My cousin's husband threw a temper tantrum because a toy lightsaber he bought. For himself. As their children were not born yet and would not be for a few years didn't come with batteries. Basically a guy who can't adult. I dated a guy who constantly complained about money problems but spent all his money on fast food and booze. He still took his laundry to his mom for her to do it for him. When he was still living at home at the age of 23, his mom still tidied and cleaned his room for him. We lived together for a while and he never cooked, cleaned, or emptied the trash once. Always complained about everything but never did anything about it. And nothing was ever his fault. My roommate can't even cook ramen. He is incredible at the man-child game. He got super lucky that his best friend loves to mommy him and boss him around. In return for putting up with her bossiness, sometimes I wonder if he secretly likes it. He gets his food cooked, dishes cleaned, basically everything. I think he does his laundry himself but that's as far as it goes. She even does his job applications and he's literally clueless. He stays hungry till she comes home from work and feeds him. He also has a long distance girlfriend but he's pretty much been unfaithful in every way possible while being celibate. I shudder to even imagine being with someone like him. I used to think I was a man child for still being into cartoons, comics and video games. After reading this I realize that I've got my crap together and I'm a fully capable adult that just kept some nerdy hobbies I had as a kid. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.